All right, so we're back once again, and today, well, today I thought I'd give you my ranked recommendations for this season and pretty much any season, because I think the advice I'm going to tell you can be applied to pretty much any season. Um, it doesn't really matter either or. This season ends in three days, and I'm still at rank five, having played 246 games. <clears throat> I got to rank 5 within about 40 games, 40, 50 games, and yet here I am, bouncing up and down between, any. okay, that's a story for a different day, and a different video. Ranked, recommend, ranked recommendations. Here's my 100% foolproof recommendations for ranked. Play the ship you like the most. Play your best ship. That's it. That's all you need to know. You like the Yamato? Play the Yamato. You good on the Yamato? Play the Yamato. You get on the Venezia, play the Venezia. Once it loads. You like the daring? You get on the daring? Yeah? Play the daring. You get on the Smolensk, you get on the Gearing, you get on the Curve first, you get on the Thunder, Conquer, Minotaur, any of these ships, play them. If you're good on the Kremlin, play the Kremlin. Don't let someone else tell you that you need to play this ship because it's OP. If you're good on that ship, you'll do a lot better. But generally, if you're playing a ship you don't have all that much experience in, you you it's go, it's gonna be like playing a bad ship in ranked, only twice as bad. So play the ship you're the best on. Don't worry about tier lists or recommendations or any of that crap. You need to play the best ship. Because that's the highest probability chance you'll have of actually winning the game and you know actually having an effect on the game rather than just yellow into the middle of the map. <clears throat> so, that's my recommendation. You can agree with it, you can disagree with it. Again, whatever. And I'll see you all in the next one.